Hey y'all, this is AJ with Blackhawk Bushcraft bringing you another video. First things first, I want to apologize for my last video. Some of you may have seen that video with me making focaccia and grilled chicken and potato mash. And you were probably thinking when you jumped onto the channel, what in the flip is this? Is this a bushcraft channel or is this baking with Brandon? So, yeah, it wasn't very bushcrafty. I should have, like, cut the focaccia bread with a bushcraft knife to kind of make it a little bit more bushcrafty. So I'm going to uh, not make that same mistake in this video. But you need to know, I love to cook. Dang it, I love to cook. I love to make bread and do cooking. So I'll just maybe see if we can make the cooking more bushcraft-oriented, like baking in the bush, which leads me to this video. I got a huge package in the mail today, and let me pull that out of the way. I want to show you this, and I want to talk about this. Pull this out. Pump all this stuff out. Okay. Let's unwrap this here. Got ourselves a Nalgene bottle and a little cup and something in here and we also have oh man this right here and this ah, firebox the g2 firebox stove sound the alarm i'm coming i'm coming up so let me tell you about this. Okay, I've been a flipping outdoorsman for all my life, practically. Played in the outdoors as a kid, camped, fished, all that stuff. I grew up in a very outdoorsman-oriented family, and I'm from Utah. And this company, Firebox, is from Utah. Why the flip have I never heard of Firebox? What kind of a freaking bubble do I live in? A company that puts out such good products, and I have been left in the dark. So I want you to think about how sad that could be to be the only one not invited to a party, the firebox party, and the tears that have been shed until today. And I want to talk to you about firebox. What I have here is another pot. And uh, I posted a video a few days ago on my fire maple pot. And then lo and behold, what comes up in my Amazon feeds, but a recommendation for the billy pot, the firebox billy pot. One quart, two quart, and three liter varieties. Okay. And what do we have here? A baking kit. Because, like I said, I love to bake. So I want to, first things first, uh, again, uh, knew nothing about this company before. I've used bush pots. I hike. I do. I wouldn't quite call it minimalistic hiking. Um, I probably carry way more weight than I should, but I'm acclimated to carrying more weight, so it doesn't really bother me. So carrying like a pot or something like that to cook while I'm on the trail is not something that's foreign to me. But this particular brand was foreign to me until I saw that feed come up. The Firebox Billy Pot. Okay, there you go right there. And I was like... That is a really cool pot. My fire maple pot's a really cool pot too. But I uh, jumped on their website and saw all sorts of deliciousness floating around in, in the terms of awesomely engineered products like the G2 Firebox stove. Now, I love little twig stoves. Uh, the one that I typically use is just some rip-off Chinese-made version of the Emberlit. I saw this one and I was like, I have got to have that. And, uh, you know, comes in a nice box. 
Here you go. Thank you for purchasing Folding Firebox Stove. Some of you have probably heard about this company for years. You've probably even been using their equipment for years. I don't know. Leave your comments and let me know. And also, let me know why the flip I've been left in the dark for so many freaking years as to the cool nature of this company. So here you go. You've got yourself a Twig Stove series of... Uh, grill plates you know foldable comes in a nice comes with a nice cordura case to carry everything in but what really intrigued me was this stove with the pot and i can't remember what this package was called it comes with an algene bottle and it comes with the three liter variety of the pot you have this that fits on the inside. You've got your lid. You can actually get this lid drilled for a temperature gauge if you want. You can actually have this drilled with holes in the bottom if you want. It's kind of like a steamer dish. I didn't want that to be a steamer dish. Uh, it comes with this, I think a 750 mil cup. Let's see if I can open that up there, there we go. So a 750 mil cup that they throw in for a limited time with the purchase of this package. And there's a grill plate that fits on the stove that fits the diameter of this so that you can actually fit that right down into the top of the stove if you want. Or you can use their fire sticks and put it on the top. Again, I'm probably preaching to the choir. A lot of you obviously got the invitation to the firebox party years ago while I was still hiking on the trail and <laughs> knowing nothing about how cool this stuff is. But I want to also give kudos to this company. So again, I got online, saw all the different products they offered, and I sent them an email. And oh my gosh, what exceptional customer service. I will just say this, they care about their customers and they support the veteran community. No, none of this stuff came for free. I bought all of this gear. Now, I haven't used this stuff yet, but I will say their customer service absolutely floored me. They were quick. They were responsive. And I had no reason but to give this company a try. Because, of course, you can always have another bush pot. It's like women in shoes. I mean, with men, it's bush pots or knives. So I will put this on my bush pot rack. And my wife will say, well, why do you need another bush pot? And I'll say, well, for the same reason, sweetie, you need all those shoes. But here's what fascinated me about this. Now, this was an add-on. And this is their baking kit. And it comes with tongs and a baking pan for bush for bread and a another tray for other goodies comes with a pot lifter as well and i was like okay i have heard people using billy pots for baking okay and you can actually use these trays this actually comes with an insert for your uh baking rack in here but you can also use these your grill plates will work as a baking rack. And I checked out some videos that they had online and I'm like, I absolutely need to try this. The wheel started spinning in my head of all the things and my love of baking and why on earth I have never attempted to bake in a billy pot before. Um, I mean, I've heard that it can be done. It's never been something that's been like, oh, I've got to just kind of jump on that bake in a billy pot bandwagon. Um, but then I was like, you know, I love Dutch oven cooking. I am really good at cooking. We go camping a lot. We spend a lot of the times in the outdoor. Why the crap wouldn't I try Billy Pot baking? And so that's why I got this kit. And I am going to post a series of videos trying out all sorts of delicious goodnesses in here. I know there's a lot of stuff out there already. With people baking in billy pots, uh, you know, bannock bread or biscuits or, you know, baked beans, all sorts of stuff. But I've got some ideas spinning in my head of things that I want to try that maybe haven't been done. So that's the, the whole thing is using a twig stove and a billy pot and a baking setup 
you know, to go out into the bush and do some really cool baking. Now, I will say the stove has some weight. This is just the canvas bag that everything fits nice into for the, it's a canvas bag that fits the three liter version of the Billy Pop. Uh, the pot itself does not weigh that much. And I could actually say if you were packing this, there's a lot of stuff that you could put into this pot if you weren't occupying the space with the baking components. But it's really not that awkwardly uh, sized. It's not an awkward sized pot. I mean, you could definitely throw that in a, a backpack if you, you know, wanted to do that. That said, if you're an ultralight camper or an ultralight hiker or bushcrafter, this probably is not for you and would be better suited, in my opinion, for base camping and having a setup that you could use as part of driving into an area, setting up a base camp, probably not hiking several miles into an area. However, if you had the means of packing your gear on the backs of some burros or maybe a horse, or I think the owner of this company, I saw some of his videos and he's got some packing goats, which were freaking awesome. So to be able to pack stuff in with you, then yeah, go on a hike, distribute the weight between other means of packing stuff into your camp and it would work just fine. So yeah, this is just kind of like my first reviews, and this was the Nalgene bottle. You could actually pay to get an upgrade. I don't need more stainless steel bottles. I've got uh, my trusty Pathfinder bottle, and not that the stainless steel firebox bottle wouldn't be good, but to pay for the upgrade, it just didn't make sense right now for me. If I look to replace my bottle, maybe I will do that. This is pretty cool. This uh, also reminds me. A little bit of my smallish Pathfinder cup that the bottle fits in. And then it looks like we've got some rubberized handles. So this probably wouldn't be the best to hang over a fire with the rubberized grips on the bat wings. Um, or the butterfly wings, bat wings, whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, holding that over a fire would probably melt this off. Um, I don't know that I'm going to cut this off, but this is definitely made for the use in the stove. So pretty cool feature, cool sticker. I am always into cool stickers. However, I'm not going to put this on my bush pot. I will put this probably on my forehead because if I put it on my pot and I want to use this on a fire... And my heck, my decal will melt or burn right off the pot. So, yeah, the forehead's definitely a better place to put the sticker. Right? What do you think? Give me your comments. Where should the sticker go? And then, you know, you've got the baking tray. So, by the time you take the weight of the stove and the, the baking components... You know, your insert, your cups, like the whole package deal. It's probably a little bit more weight um, as far as cooking equipment from a hiking standpoint. That being said, maybe many of you have had experience with all of this stuff and hiking in two locations. And you can let me know, is it unbearable? Is it too much? Do you think it's overkill? I'm thinking of this more in terms of base camping. You know, the stove, obviously, taking like a small a small pot and a stove in your gear uh, doesn't seem too unreasonable, but like the whole baking setup might be from a hiking standpoint. So anyways, that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the firebox components. I'm excited to give this stove a try. This is very well made, and I love how this stove is engineered. You don't have to fidget by putting a bunch of pieces together. It basically is hinged and it just opens up. For those of you that are already familiar with the bush box, that's what this kind of reminds me of, is that type of engineering that just, you know, lays flat and then you open it up and you can put your stuff in, have it ready to go. You don't have to fidget and put a bunch of pieces together. That's the one thing that I didn't like about my Chinese knockoff Emberlit is it is a great stove, but after time and the heat, it warps significantly. And then trying to get everything to fit sometimes is a little bit fidgety. But I think twig stoves are a great choice. They're excellent for bushcraft and backpacking if you're not planning to build like a huge fire and cooking over that. But from the standpoint of 
using the stove and baking in this. I am so freaking excited to give it a try and to show you some recipes and some things that are already going into my head that might give you some ideas of what you might do when you're out cooking on the trail. So please like and subscribe, leave your comments. Let me know if you have experience with this brand, what you like, what you don't like. Um, again, initial impressions as far as the company is concerned. They love their customers. They are supportive of their customers and they are absolutely supportive of the military and veteran community. So thank you so much for your time and we will talk to you later.